And welcome back. It's Sunday, and you know what it is? It's time for What If, but you know what also it is time for? A new What If. It's right. I've finally gotten done with all the What Ifs I had ongoing, particularly the Naruto uh, adopted by Jiraiya one, and I'm lagging a little bit right now. Sorry about that. Um, but it's time to start a new one. If you read the title, you know what it is. But I also have to give the proper shout-outs, and this is one a lot of people have asked me to get to, and it was just the next one on the list, so I finally was able to get to it. And it is, what if Goku was born with God Key? Now, this one comes to us from MZ Savage Master, Oliver Samano, God Killer. Uh, oh, God. So, self made underscore tone. <laughs> I want to make sure I get everyone. I believe it's Zachary Gerber, or Garber. Chara, oh, God, Drummer, and Rogue Gamer. So, you all suggested this, and I'm sure I'm certain I might have been missing one or two, but that's everyone I could find. So, the question is, what if Goku had been born with God Key? Now, first off, we have to kind of establish... I've heard one of the uh, examples or excuses for why he would be born God Key is that uh, Yamoshi, the first Super Saiyan God, spirit endured and eventually found a host in Goku. You could make that argument. I think through, like, maybe genetic mutations, similar to, like, Broly... You can make you you could go with Goku was born God Key. Something along those lines can work. But here's the thing: nothing changes, like say on Planet Vegeta, because they didn't have methods of sensing God Key or detecting God Key. Though I think they might have been able to detect that the hidden potential in Goku was vast, and you know it's God Key. So Goku would be sent to Earth, and initially, first off, we should note that God Key and your regular Key are two different things. Um, and again, I'm sorry, but my computer is lagging at the moment a little bit. Um, and it's, uh, again, a new computer, new thing. Okay, yeah, things seem to be working out a bit better now. I just had to close some tabs. Um, so, yeah, because when we see Super Saiyan God, that is not Goku's key. That is God, that's his God key. But when we see Super Saiyan Blue, that's a mix of his God key with his regular key. So I do believe still as a saying, though, that Go though Goku is born with God key, he's still immortal. So, he still has his normal key. Now, it might strengthen his normal key a little bit. He has access to the god form. But as a child, I don't think he instinctively knows how to access it. I think, well, I don't think he is consciously aware of how to access it. I think what it is is that he accesses it through instinct at the time. So, say when he uh, first, you know, touches down, uh, you know, he's, you know, having a good time with Grandpa Gohan. All that goes about the same. But he, but the, I think what, where the changes start to arise is when he goes into Ozaru for the first time and that moment where he's going to kill Grandpa Gohan. So, you know, the moon, he sees the moon and, you know, he transforms. But that first time transformation, because as far as we know, it's the first time he ever transformed into an ape. <clears throat> that first time transformation into an Ozaru uh, triggers something and you know, he's raging up, but he also, it triggers his god key. And he immediately just turns into this giant red ape. And, um, <laughs> and, you know, Gohan's just like, my, what, what is this? What is this pressure? Oh my god. Uh, which I think that's kind of how Grandpa Gohan sounded. Uh, but the minute he turns into God Key, here's the weird thing. Because God Key is just a different level of power and different, like, style and feel. I think it is Goku goes into like Super Saiyan God Ozaro, just he kind of brings him back down to reality a little bit. Just he's not like completely like Dad, Grandpa. He can't, he, like, he can't talk or communicate in that sense, but he does calm down because the key does have a, like a level of calming to it. At least Blue certainly did, um, because it was about key control. And again, the whole the divineness of it seems to like at least give him focus, like gives him something to um, focus on. Like, he can sense, he, he's aware something's off about him. Just, <laughs> and as he, you know, he's looking around, he looks, and sees Gohan, you know, did you, uh, Gohan's, you know, messed up. He, just, <laughs> he focuses in on Gohan, just, <laughs> just looking down on him. Just, <laughs> and he actually, he's, <laughs> he, he, he's able to just vaguely make out a word. <laughs> And you see, he's and he's now he starts to calm down, and then starts to recede. Just, and now, 
would it be Super Saiyan 4 Goku, Kid Goku, that, you know, recedes from that, you know, kind of gaining control? No. I, look, we're giving him God Key. Could we make a Super Saiyan 4 happen at some point? Sure. Um, but would it be in this point? No. Uh, and I And the reason for that is, truth be told, the way you read Super Saiyan 4, I've never honestly use the proper way. He doesn't, you don't use the moon. You use flux waves and stuff off the earth from <laughs> while you're on and stuff like that. So it's, it, 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 it's not to say there aren't other ways you could get to Super Saiyan 4. In theory, this could be one, but right now it's God key. So yeah, anyway, go, but he does come to Goku does come to his grandpa and he's still in God form. So he's still awake. He's tired, but he's like, grandpa, what, what, what's wrong? Like, Goku, are you okay, boy? He's like, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. What? Ah, oh, my hair! Whoa, what's going on? It's like, yeah, yeah. And then, you know, they say, I don't know, son, but this power of yours is, you know, my word. So, you know, he comes and Goku now, he's not in control of his Ozara form, if you were to go again. But Gohan explains what happened. He's like, I turned into a monkey? He's like, you did, Goku, you're a great ape. Uh, it's, it was Ozaroing. <laughs> it was amazing. I mean, I'd never seen anything like that in my life. Um, it's like, he makes an Ozaro, bones like, oh, Ozaro, uh, no, we do degree, but it, you nearly killed me until you turned into this red form, and, you know, Goku eventually just poof, taps out of the red form, just, uh, what, what was that? It's like, I don't know. So, but, you know, you'll, I guess you'll never have to look, basically go, who now knows? I can't look at the full moon again, or I'll also turn to that ape. Maybe we can, I'll, I'll have to increase your treating, son. So, by that, you know, by those standards, Grandpa Gohan would incre actually increase in, like, double the effort, and you're going to just make sure Goku has, is able to learn to control his power, and, you know, improve his style, martial arts, all that. So, Goku's power in the initial series was around 10. Um, I think because Go uh, Grandpa Gohan would put a lot more effort into training him, Goku would be a fair bit stronger. Plus, he has God Key, which is already enhancing his strength, things along those lines, um, on some level. So I think by the time you meet, reach Bulma, Goku's power is around maybe 40. It's definitely up there. It's definitely far improved because Gohan's actually taking the time to really put some effort into training him. I also think that they practice with God Key, like trying to access it. And I think after some time, Goku is able to access it on some level. Uh, now, and when he access it, accesses it, he, he's completely stronger than pretty much any character in the series at this point. Well, not any character, but you know, like the majority of characters at this point in the entire show run. Um, but at the same time, he's still young, he's still inexperienced with it, and go uh, in um, go on as a martial mar master martial artist. So you know, they fight, and despite the fact that you know he's got the speed and power, and he's able to ultimately beat Go on when he does get a hit on him, or you know close to beating him, go on, you know, experience and reflex, like, nope, nope, oh, there was close, Goku, I'll get you, him. oh, you're so, oh, it's fun, it's fun, we're having fun, Goku, it's like, turn it all, man, oh, it's like, oh, you have to try harder than that, Goku, uh, so, yes, you will need to learn, you need to learn to control yourself, and calm your, uh, calm your, uh, your key, and then go on, so Goku's just, fun, and, you know, he calms, and eventually, you know, he, he's able to get a legitimate win on Gohan. But that's where a lot of the training comes from. Plus, Gohan is alive at this point. So I do think he teaches Goku the Kamehameha. I don't think there's any reason that he'd have to wait for Roshi. Gohan's alive. He's training him harder. So I think he learned the Kamehameha early. So now we fast forward to when him and Bulma meet. He's going out to get fish. Gohan's just there at the house, you know, relaxing, taking cleaning things up, all that stuff. And, you know, Bulma... I uh, should note also, I think Gohan does give him more knowledge of the outside world. Like, he teaches him what a girl is, for instance. Uh, like, what a car is. So He has a general idea now of what these things are. So, instead of, like, I think he called it a dragon at one point. Uh, or a monster, or something along those lines. He, uh, he at least knows what it is. Like, you try to hit me with your car th that car thing you got there. What's wrong with you? Oh, well, sorry. I mean, yeah, I mean, you know. I, did, I can't remember. Did she unload on him? there, or was it after he tried to pull her panties off? Uh, point being, though, is that Goku, being much stronger now, just easily takes out the car again, and, you know, takes him, She he takes her to Grandpa Gohan, because, you know, I'll, I'll just see the Grandpa Gohan, we're having fish today, and she's like, I can see that. 
Uh, so, you know, oh, go, go, you back. Oh, when do I Oh, you found your lady friend. Yeah, this is my new friend, Bama. He's like, um, hello, sir. He's like, yo, yes, um, would you care to join us for lunch? We're having fish. He's like, yeah, um, sure. So, they invite her to lunch, and he, she explains why she's in the area. I'm looking for that. I'm looking for that. It's like, eh? oh, this? This is a tricking that I found in the woods a while back. I'd say it's, been, it's very pretty, isn't it? She's like, yes, I have, but I, oh, I, and she explains, but, oh, you looking to make a, uh, looking to, uh, here's the thing, though. I think Gohan probably knew what the internal dragon was. Well, actually, no, I don't know if he would. Why didn't Roshi know about it, for God's sake? Um, they never do explain why they wouldn't have known, at least why Roshi wouldn't have known about it. But, I mean, he's over 300 years old, so, it, it's, it stands the reason he probably would have known what the eternal, what the Dragon Balls were, but, oh well. Um, not a lot of people knew that. Why does Bulma know? That's another question, too. Why does Bulma know, but Roshi doesn't? I, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, boop, I digress. So, uh, back at the plot, to use my famous catchphrases now. Um, so, you know, she explains, like, mm, well, I mean... And, uh, well, if you want, if you need it, I mean, I never really need it for anything. It was just a lovely display piece. So if you want it, you can have it. It's like, oh, thank you so much. It's like, yep, uh, thank you for lunch, too. Oh, it was our pleasure. We don't really get much company out here, so it was a, our pleasure to host you. It's like, yeah, this is really fun. We should do it again. And then you both say, oh, yeah, sure, maybe. And, you know, uh, she, you know, I should really get on my way and then go off to uh, see where the next one is. It's like, oh, man, it's a white, it's a white, uh, it's not white, it's a white. A wild way. And it's a ways off. Hmm. And, and, and it's not, it's a dangerous world out there, today. Goku. And then, you know, Gohan says, Goku, why don't you accompany the young lady? She could use your protection. And it's good, it'd be good for you to get out and see the world. It's like, oh, are you sure, Grandpa? Oh, yes. I'll be right here after, when you get back. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. So, you know, Goku agrees to go with Bulma. And a lot of the shenanigans ensue as normal. Um, you know, the whole panties incident. They meet Roshi. Um... The, the Yamcha fight goes a bit more in Goku's favor, despite the fact he'd still be hungry. The Oolong thing goes the same. Goku, Gohan probably would have stressed the fact that the God Key, that whatever it is that he uses, we know it's God Key, would be extremely powerful. Like, don't use it unless you, uh, unless you can know you can win, because you still haven't really mastered using it yet. You haven't really learned how to control it yet. You've gotten better, but you need to learn to control it. And Goku would agree, and you're like, okay, Grandpa. Besides, he's well much stronger than his canon counterpart in this case. At 40 for his power level versus a 10, he can pretty much clean the clock with the majority of the characters at this point. Um, so, you know, nothing really changes. He He's a little, uh, it's a little bit more in his favor with Yamcha, but he's still starving, so it weakens him. The boss carrot thing goes the same. Uh, really, nothing really changes up until maybe Fire Mountain. And even then, Fire Mountain, you know, uh, he tries to go, kind of, you know, he attacks the ox. He's like, what are, you do what are you doing here? Well, obviously, that is, so, it kind of sounds a little gamma buntish. Maybe the same actor. Um, I don't think so. That was, God, that was years apart. Um, not possible. Uh, actually, now I think about it, it's very, I, I know it's the same guy who voiced Yajirobe, I know that, because uh, I, I, that voice I can, I, that voice I can totally understand, you know, them sadly similar, uh, and just says, he's about, and just as Goku realizes I can't beat this guy as I am, you know, he's, uh, Kamehame, and then, wait, did Rest Roshi talk, uh, who did you learn that, I, I learned it from my grandpa, Go, Gohan, go on, I was, Gohan was a, a student, you mean Master Roshi, is it, yeah, and, and they, Right before Goku uses the command man or even tries God Key, they, you know, work it out. Master Roshi, go to get him. It is a ka me ha me I don't know why I did that, but and then he blows up Fire Mountain essentially. And you know, Goku is and he shows that, hey, I can do that too. Ha! And his is just as strong as Roshi's. So Roshi like, oh my uh, what? It's like, yeah, my grandpa Gohan taught me that. It's like Gohan taught you the command, and you learned it that quickly. My word. Oh, the youth. <laughs> um, uh, so, after that, I can't remember if Pilaf came immediately after that. Pretty sure it was close to that. Anyway, with the Pilaf thing, it's different. Because, yes, they'll get captured again, I'm sure. 
but Goku could easily blast out of there with a Kamehameha. Like, why didn't he aim the Kamehameha, even though it was not a perfected Kamehameha, why didn't he aim, just aim the Kamehameha at the, uh, glass? Um, I don't know why, but Goku does, you know, just blast out of there. Uh, and, or let's even say he does Let's say he can't blast out of there. Maybe it damages the glass, but he can't break out of there. He does, like, oh, I guess it's one of those times. And then, uh, he's like, times for what? Bo uh, Oolong, Boma, I need you to stand back. And then, you know, they see Goku's actually got serious looking, so he's just... And then all of a sudden, get that god music going, and his hair goes, what, what is this? What is this feeling? It's like this pressure. And then Go, Goku just smashes the window, gets out of there. All right, guys, come on. And then, you know, you find them mess, and then gets out of there. They stop the Pilaf gang. Goku barely glances at the moon, fairly realizes it's a full moon, so he stops himself from staring at the moon because he just doesn't trust himself right now. Even though I think him and Gohan may have tried it again once or twice and may have had some success, I do think they both realize he's just not, doesn't have the mentality right now uh, to control it. So they stop uh, Emperor Pilaf from making the wish. Oolong does, uh, the world's most comfortable pair of underwear! Uh, and, you know, they go their separate ways. Goku goes to train Roshi, Krillin's there as well, and you go from there. Now, Goku being stronger pushes Krillin to be stronger as well, I think. So, and granted, it pretty much was like a time step, though I have to imagine Goku may have gotten a little stronger during his travel with Bulma before reaching Roshi. We know it was 10 to 100 in terms of the power increase, so probably like a 10 times multiplier, but there's no way you'd go from 40 to 400. No way in hell. Uh, but I will say it was more, he's probably more around like 130 in terms of his base power than 100. So he's definitely stronger uh, than his canon counterpart, but just not by that, like a huge gap margin. Uh, it's not like a times 10, probably more like a times 3 or 4. Uh, so, you know, for the sake of, yeah, no, yeah, we'll say 130. I think 120 is a little on the weak side. 130 seems just about right. And Krillin, they never gave us a real, an accurate power level for Krillin back then, but he's also stronger. Um, so when we get to the tournament, uh, the World Martial Arts Tournament, they're all prepared. Goku won't be using his God Gi because he knows better. Because he, even he realizes that this is a power that he has that would be unfair to use in other circumstances. So, him and, um, <laughs> him and Krillin, you know, they're, the, and basically all the fights go about the same until Jackie Chun and Goku square off. Goku says that he's not going to use it. Uh, he's uh, gonna go use just his power because at the same time it, the god key is his power but at the same time it's something even he can tell is different than his regular energy that he uses so he doesn't use it all the time like he wants to rely on his own strength and he uses that basically in desperate scenarios and this this is a tournament about your own power so he, again long story short he probably would avoid using god key in these official tournaments unless something me like, say, when Piccolo Jr. happens, unless something like that happens. So, uh, you know, him and Roshi go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, Jackie Chun. And a lot of it goes the same, but Goku presses a lot harder this time around and gets a lot stronger hits in. We know Jackie Chun, though, is still stronger than Goku. It's just not by much. So, ultimately, it does still go the same way where Goku loses the fight. And this time, it's even barely loses the fight. Like, he almost... I am the champ beat. Boom! Basically, it's like Joey in the his fight with Merrick. Like, I, 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 boom, man. <laughs> you think Joe that that? Side note, real quick for a completely different topic. How crappy of a duelist really was Merrick when you break it down? The only duel he actually won legitimately was with Bakura. Uh, the other ones he won through cheating. He, he was using the shadow roll. He beat Mai through cheating, and technically he was using a legal card anyway. Um, uh, because of the shower, the, the effects were real. He beat Joey because he was basically just draining his energy. If he had, wasn't draining his energy, Joey, when you go card for card, would have won that fight. Um, and then Yugi, the, the Yugi thing, whatever. I digress, though! Again! Back at the plot. Um, get all my catchphrases out there. So, with the, then you have the Red Ribbon Army arc, and really, that would go extremely quick. A, because Goku is much stronger in this version, and B, because he's got God Key, and the Red Ribbon Army would be a threat that he'd feel he had to use God Key for. So, whenever there was a threat like, uh, was it General Silver the Blonde, 
and you know he got you know he paralyzed Goku. Goku just uh, uh, and then you know he comes in, but Goku just boom powers up God gives uh, and then just boom wastes General so I think it was silver. It was either blue or silver. I want to say blue actually. Uh, point being, so he actually just gets taken out. Maybe he survives and the Tau kills him. Tau. Then the Tau incident happens. Mercenary Tau. And initially, Goku loses is losing the fight. But again, Tau is an opponent who he would have... Uh, it would have warranted him for him using God Key. So he immediately, you know, pulls out his power pole. And, you know, Tau tries to block him. But this time, as he's... He, and he's weak, and he pulls out the power pole. Like, uh, this is over, little brat. And then, you know, Goku's power pole. And now someone's like, what is this? Extend! Or power pole extend. And then, boom, God key enhanced power pole. Just, boom! And it actually pierces Tao. Just throws his shoulders. Like, ah, ah, ah. And then Goku just, yeah, he just got a look on his face. Just, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Oh, just breaking his body and just throws him up there. Like, this is for, and I honestly can't remember the name of the Indian dad who, um, Native American dad who was killed, but this is for him! Kamehame! Ah, basically a god blast. Just, ah! Now Mercer Tap obviously would come back, and he still comes back in this version. Um, I do think that we still visit Scorn, though. I think they talk about, you know, Korra and things like that. So he goes up there, visits him, uh, and he's like, Ah, I see you're the one who's been making all the... Ah, I see you're the one who's been making all that racket down there. Ah, then you're definitely not a normal human, that's what's said. And I don't even know if you're human. It's like, ah, oh, and then, you know, they Korra kind of explains the whole sh shtick, and Goop gets a little extra training. Nothing serious. Um, we're at the 21 minute mark. I think I'll end with the whole, um, actually, real quick... Again, I think Goku's maybe a little stronger than his canon counterpart in uh, the second tar tar uh, well, the second martial arts tournament with Tian Shin on and everyone. Um, like maybe like 20, 200 instead of the eighteen one hundred and eighty. Sorry, uh, but I think again through shenanigans, Tian wins. Then you get to the King Piccolo stuff, and uh, I, I think I can go through King Piccolo's arc real quick. <clears throat> So, you know, Goku goes back to find Krillin dead, unfortunate, and he's, now he's raging at him, and was it Tambourine who killed him? Pretty sure, certain it was. So he goes to Tambourine, he's hungry, but at the same time, he, this is a guy who's like, you killed my best friend, he's like, uh, yes, sorry, orders are orders, I'm afraid, I don't know his voice, I haven't watched this, the Dragon Ball in years. Uh, and, like, nah, and, you know, him and Goku go at it, but Goku immediately just goes into the god, he just, <laughs> uh, what is this? Uh, what is this? All the while, throughout Goku's life, Kami is watching. Kami has been standing on the lookout watching, because as the as the Guardian Earth, he can't necessarily sense God Ki. He, he can't sense it like, say, you know, Goku and Vegeta could after they trained, or, um, uh, or like, you know, Whis and Beerus can, or anything like that. But he can sense... The present, like, he didn't sense the amount of God Key, like, say, a Kai could. But he can, I think it's beyond the fact he can feel the pressure. I think he can somehow feel the presence. He just can't, like, detect location necessarily or, like, the amount or anything. But he's got a set, an idea for being above your normal. He's, like, he's not truly a god, but he's the guardian of the earth. So we know uh, Dende could figure out Beerus was a god. Despite the fact he couldn't sense his key. So I have to believe that Kami couldn't do something similar, but because he's older and wiser and had more experience than Dende, I think it's on a greater level. So meanwhile, he's been watching this whole time and just figuring out what exactly he's what exactly he should do with this child who clearly has power of the gods. Like not not just like power well beyond his. Uh, but the he hasn't been misusing it. In fact, he's been using it very sparingly given his entire life. But anytime this is act, his uh, God keys activate, Kami has been watching, um, and uh, and you know he takes that tambourine. Eventually, it comes down to King Piccolo, old King Piccolo, facing off with Goku. And initially, old King Piccolo beat the crap out of Goku. Goku here, on the other hand, just and King Piccolo just, uh, what what is this? What I what are you? Are you a, no? It can't be. You you can't be a god. What would a deity be? To, Doing a, you, uh, and he's just starting to freak out because like he hasn't sensed anything like this 
pretty much ever. If you find it, Goku just, you, it's, you're gonna, you're evil ends here, Piccolo. There, this is the end. And, uh, the end for you and the end for, you know, so forth and so on. He's like, no, we're gonna just blast Goku. Point, like, Dah! You know, the mouth buzzer. <laughs> you know, what do you think about that, boy? Huh? What do you, and then Goku's just like, <sighs> and then just my turn. And just boom, just uppercuts him. Wails on him for a little bit, and then he's got, and then he pretty much just bla got, has to make the choice, you know, to kill him or not. And Goku right now is kind of blind by rage, but at the same time, it's still Goku. He's still a good-hearted individual. And Kami's watching this. Like, what will your choice be, Goku? What will it be? And then he just stares down, and you know, he blasts, and he's just he's like, uh, "I'm going to give you a chance. I'm going to give you this one chance." Leave me out. Go somewhere where no one will ever find you. It's like, uh, do that. And, uh, do that, and you, I'll let you live. You, But if I ever see you again, if I ever find out you hurt anyone, you, uh, anything I cared about, anyone I cared about, any surrounding, I will, I will finish you. And then Goku, you know, gets up and leaves. Still in God, you know, you know out of God mode now. And keep those, you little brat. I am Demon King Pickle, the ruler of this world. I answer to no one! Boom! And, you know, he blasts Goku, who immediately just flicks on God Key one more time, just... Boom, boom, just the blast is... Boom, boom. It's like, yeah, uh, it's like, you fuck! Kind of like with Frieza, just, you know, back as, as a kid, just blasts him straight through the chest, but that lost King Piccolo to still spit out the egg, and he just fires the egg, and Goku's like... And then he just, he's not paying attention. Goku's frankly just not paying attention, does he? Hmm... Uh, and luckily, the Dragon Balls are still uh, not only around, but Kami's still alive because Pink Hickle is still alive. And, uh, and uh, you know, Kami's like, seems he made the right choice after all. Yes, it seems he did quite well indeed. And Kami's just like, huh? Kami just looks over and he sees this man there with silver hair, blue skin, and a weird robe and a staff with this orb. It's like, oh, excuse me, I, I didn't mean to interrupt, but the view is actually quite nice from up here. <laughs> Why is Whis there? We'll find out in part two. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. As always, if you want us to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know we'll do a review of it at some point. And ideas for who would win, Star Wars, Superman, Magic, what if, anything I do on the channel, put that in the comments below as well. I'll get to that at some point. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you tomorrow, actually, because I got... Just know who would win tomorrow. It's, it's still going to be one more easy uh, pre-regular week next week, or this coming week. The following week is where I'm going to be doing a lot of compensation. So I'll explain what's going to happen next, leading into next week. So until then, by the way, you'll notice there's no Lion King review. I just wasn't in the mood. And everything I heard, it really is just a carbon copy of, well, maybe not a carbon copy, but a pretty much a copy of the original, just done in an animation style that looks more live action. Uh, and I'm certain it's probably fine for the people who liked it. I'm certain it's decent, but... I, I, I'll be honest, I, because I missed it the first time, I really wasn't feeling it wanting to, like, come this week, so that's going to be one I had to miss. Uh, until then, though, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time, folks. Have a good one!